noun font modifiers. Um, you will find this information in um, Artius, in Wooded. Okay, I decided to do this, so maybe um, sometimes we need to listen to the material to memorize it or to learn it better. So here you have, you can read, but at the same time you can listen to it. Okay, well, noun modifiers. We have adjective, which are the most common noun modifiers, and there are others. Um, nouns, okay, nouns can be modified or described by adjectives or other nouns. Okay, so that those are the ones that are noun modifiers. Modifiers usually come immediately before the nouns they describe. If two or more modifiers can be uh, come before a noun, they usually follow the order above. And here we have quality or opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin material, kind, or purpose, and then we have the noun. Uh, most modifiers are adjectives, as I told you, and the modifiers of material and kind or purpose are often nouns. Here you can have, oh, you can see material, ceramic, because ceramic is a noun, okay? Conference is a noun, um, so they are often nouns. Native speakers rarely use more than three or four modifiers before a noun, but there can be the case. So if, the, if there is a case, well, you always need to follow this order. And if you have more than three, okay, you have to follow it too, even though it is not very common. Sometimes more than one adjective for, from certain categories is used before a noun. When that happens, the adjectives must be separated by either a comma or and. With adjectives describing colors or materials, separate the adjectives with an. With adjectives describing qualities or opinions, use a comma or an. You can use both. For example, here, here we have um, these three examples. My homepage has a unique black and white design. Here we have two color modifiers. I just bought a new glass and metal table material. She's a kind, helpful person, or we can also say she's a kind and helpful person. In the first case, that you don't have the, the conjunction and, you have to separate the two adjectives um, with a comma. Um, okay, then we have, here we have the compound modifiers. We have here some examples. He ran a five mile race. It means that the length of the race was five miles. This sales job requires a high energy person. It means that the energy of the person is high. Chocolate covered peanuts are my favorite candy. It means that the peanuts are covered by chocolate. I know a lot of open-minded people. It means that the people has an, has, uh, the people have oh, an open mind. Compound modifiers are two or more descriptive words put together to present information in a compact form instead of in a longer phrase. Like in this example, if you see here, the length of the race was five miles, that is a long sentence. It's easier okay, to say he ran a five mile race. Okay, we compact the information. We put the two, um, the two descriptive words together. They function as adjectives before nouns in the same way as other adjective or noun modifiers. We have compound modifiers. Okay, they are um, compound modifiers are often made up of these combinations: number plus noun, like in this example, a five-mile race. Five, we have the number mile, the noun, or a two-man tent, or hundred-dollar bills. We also have adjective plus noun, high energy drink. High is the adjective, energy is the noun a stainless steel pipe, big time politicians. We have adjective or adverb plus participle in these examples, an unusual looking woman. Unusual is the adjective and looking the participle. And a far reaching decision. We can have adjective plus noun plus ed in these examples, a, an open minded person Open is an adjective, minded is a noun plus ed, mine is a noun, we add ed, or a three-legged donkey. And we can have noun plus participle. In these examples, chocolate covered peanuts, chocolate is a noun, 
covered is the participle and O inspiring view. In this case here covered is a past participle and inspiring is a present participle. Compound modifiers are usually spelled with hyphens. When they come before nouns you can see here all the hyphens. The ED ending is added to adjective and noun combinations that relate to characteristics of people, animals, or objects. And here you can see um, this three-legged donkey. Okay, this is a characteristic of an animal. An open-minded person. Okay, so there you have the explanation, the examples. Plural nouns in compound modifiers become singular. This most often occurs in modifiers with numbers. Uh, in this example, he ran a five miles race that is incorrect. If we do it in a longer way, okay, he ran a race of five miles. Yes, you have to write the plural, okay. But when we when we um, use it as a modi as modifiers, okay, adjectives are not pluralized, so we cannot have this as here. We should say he ran a five mile race. And then we have compound nouns. And we have two, um, these two types of nouns. We have the count nouns and non-count nouns. Okay? Uh, here we have some examples. Credit card, bookstore, babysitter, washing machine, and swimming pool. All these are count nouns because we can count them individually. And as non-count nouns, we have scuba diving, data processing, dry cleaning, old age, and takeout. Compound nouns are two or more words put together to present information in a more compact form. They function as single nouns with unique meanings. So if we separate the words, they have separate meanings, but when we put them together, they will get a new meaning. Many compound nouns are two nouns or an adjective plus a noun. For example, here uh, we have book and store. The two of them are nouns, okay? Sometimes we can have an adjective plus a noun like scuba diving, okay? Uh, the first word describes the second word, which is the head or main word. If the first word is a noun, it is almost always singular. In this case, for example, here in bookstore, okay, book is a noun, it's the first word and is singular so it is most of the time it is it will be um, singular or scuba diving in that case scuba diving was a scuba diving is an interesting sport compound nouns can also consist of a verb plus a preposition or a participle and some compound nouns are spelled with hyphens others are spelled as one word Sometimes they are spelled together or separate. A compound noun can usually be made plural if the head noun is countable. If the head noun is non count, the compound noun usually has no plural form. Like in these examples, we say scuba diving is, data processing is, dry, dry cleaning is, old age is, take out, the take out is or was, okay, in singular. And here we have some examples credit cards, washing machines. You, we can pluralize those words, but we cannot say scuba divings or dry cleanings. And we have prepositional phrase modifiers. Prepositional phrase modifiers are nouns followed by a preposition. We have some um, preposition, some nouns followed by the preposition of, like in these examples here. For example, a list of complaints, which is a list consisting of complaints. A story of courage, which is a story about courage. The science section of the times is the science section that is part of the times. The wealth of the company, the wealth that belongs to the company. The essays of Mark Twain, are the essays created by Mark Twain or written by Mark Twain. The production of energy is the act of producing energy. And the success of the movie is the success resulting from the movie. And here we have some other examples with nouns followed by other prepositions that are not of. With two, with the preposition two, we had damage to the building, answers to the question, the road to Chicago. With four, 
scholarships for students, the search for extraterrestrial life, with on a tax on gas, a reliance on scientific theory, with with photos with captions, the girl with red hair, an argument with my sister, with about a book about insects, doubt about the future, within interest in the future, belief in democracy, and talent in art, with against an argument against taxes, a reaction against the past. Prepositional phrases that follow nouns modify them by making their meanings more specific in many different ways. They are most often used with inanimate nouns. Phrases beginning with of are the most common, but as you, as you could see, we can have other prepositional phrases or other prepositions. Some nouns are modified by prepositions other than of. Prepositional phrases with of that show belonging or created something can often be expressed with the possessives instead. For example, the company's wealth. Instead of saying the wealth of the company, we can say the company's wealth. The movie's success, Mark Twain's essays. And this is all about nouns, noun modifiers. I hope that this um, presentation or this video um, help you when you study for the test.